G Squad, what's happening with y'all, baby? Tall guy back with another legendary video. Yes, I said another one, man. And this is the 2019, this was y'all request, man. A 2019 BMW M3 3.0 liter turbocharged. I almost forgot what I was about to say. Turbocharged M3, man. Without further ado, I'm here with my dog, Mr. Organic, man. So let's go ahead and uh, get this video started. Mr. Organic is here.com. <laughs> Give it a pure M3. So, of course, you have 3 L. <laughs> what do you think about it? Man, for one, not my style. <laughs> but, um, contrary to belief, <laughs> it's a legendary whip, especially driving wise. You know, every time whips like this that I see, I'm like, man, how does this cost so much? Like, I would never pay no Because this is about 100000 94000 to be exact. <laughs> but it do got the red interior. So that's why and it's I'm, a driver's car, bro. BMW. Initial, that's what I'm saying. That's my initial thought. The walk off, like, are you? But once you drive these cars, your whole mind shifts. A whole different type of thought pattern when you drive one of these cars. So then I start understanding more. So the more I indulge, indulge in driving cars, I understand. But when I ever do that, <laughs> well, first and foremost, the initial thing you see is, you know, that there's the front just crazy. Yeah. There's all the plastic surgery going on, you know what I'm saying? All the carbon <laughs> fibers, all the different type of Cali Jenner lips at the bottom, extra curric curricular activity. I like the headlights too, and they got them laser headlights for those who don't know. Beautiful. And they got the beautiful weaved carbon fiber on, right man. down here with the M3 oh so nicely right there, man. And you got that indentation on the hood right there. And we got somebody that's going crazy in a Chevy Malibu. I've never seen that before. Malibu, you got 2002 Chevy Malibu. Stop it! <laughs> Junkyard. <laughs> you stupid. Everybody got to start somewhere. Three damn, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Nowhere fast, brother. You stupid, man. But then we're getting way over here to them wheels. You got them satin coated oh, wheels satin. with the M3 blue uh, performance brake calipers, man. <laughs> this thing is actually really nice, man. Look nice at the outside. Like marble glaze blue, blueberry blue brakes. And if you look at the hips right there, you can see that hip popping out also oh. slightly, too. I don't know about gripping the hip. The hip meet when it connects. You gotta grip it. Dang. Yeah, it's okay, brother. Don't go too far for me. <laughs> but look at the back of it, though, man. You got the carbon fiber hood too. For those who don't know, that's probably you know got a lot to do with that ninety-four thousand oh, dollar no price it. tag. That's for that sure. Alone, this, this roof right here alone probably about seventy thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so man, I need one for my for this. <laughs> You're a little bit too pay. A little too pay on that thing. Ah. <laughs> But look at the back of it though, man. You got the carbon fiber, you know, um, exhaust tips right there, you know, yeah, kind of wrapped around the that. pipe. Yeah, with the M right there on oh, the top. Yeah. Goes a long way over here on this way as well. So, you know, you got the quads and then you got the M3 right there with the beautiful tail lights. And then, if you haven't noticed already, more carbon fiber right here mm. on that wing. Ooh, we just swoops across that thing too, mm. so delicately. And then over here, you got the nice gray paint. You know, you got the M3 right here. It's an M, so they're gonna let you know let you every know chance they get for sure. Absolutely, and it's also in the rim as well in case you Come thought on, it was man. a game yeah, And it's on the brake caliper as well and the front and the back and then if you look right through here You can see both m3s on that red interior that lights up too. Yep, definitely lights up. So y'all can't see it right now, but these definitely light up like a Christmas tree at nighttime Well, three just covered his up, but show that one there, man. <laughs> Okay, yes, sir brother. <laughs> yeah, right. but Look at the bolstering up with the red interior. That's how I would get it if I ever got it You know what I mean? I only bought one car like that in my entire life where I expect it out Track easy. And what did I get inside man bloody 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 move got to do it. It's mandatory man but Look at that seats. and look right here M3 right there as well, and you got an M right there on the footrest as well. I just got done doing the M4 review, so if you haven't checked that out, 6B manual, go check that out. Uh, the info will be in the description below, the link. And you got carbon fiber there. You got 200 on the dash there with the M3 that just went away. Goes up to about 7,000 RPMs. You got more carbon fiber over here with the screen, and you got more carbon fiber down here by the armrest with the red leather. It has about 425 horsepower with about 406 uh, torque. Okay, well, we gotta pop the hood and show him, brother. Let's show him. He's gonna hit this thing right here twice. One, two. <laughs> the, full, the full stride and step. The big bobble head. <laughs> that stance is crazy. Ah, easy. Easy, easy access, baby. So, how much horsepower torque is this with the carbon fiber right here? 425, 406 torque. Ooh, 425 horsepower, 406 pound feet of torque, huh? Somewhere around there. I just estimated, but I think it's right. Okay. Big carbon fiber, goddamn, uh, 
Monstismo, like like one of those boxing dudes like this. Come here, come here, see mustache. You see that? Yeah, that is that, ain't it? Big big uh big uh, uh uh what's his name? Um, what's that movie Sherlock called? Holmes. Captain uh, Captain Hook. Captain Hook. The, the Captain Hook mustache, the villain dude. At the tips. Yeah, that's definitely that man. But yeah, there y'all go, man. Four hundred twenty-five horsepower and uh four hundred and six, I believe, brother. You said. Down there. Okay, around there. Shut the hood, man. Let's go in there and talk about the interior. Once you have an interior with a cut on it, it changes your whole spectrum. Funk sway, huh? Oh my god. What about the back, though? Why did it look so crazy like that? Because it's super just catched up, up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. That's the whole other side of the bun. You know what I'm saying? Big American, uh, American uh, hero. Absolutely. Brother. And if you don't believe the pricing, let me go ahead let and uh, show, you, brother. show you right there. I had it upside it's down. So Appreciate good. your help, brother. Sometimes you need a little assistance. Voila. Boom. Where's that thing at? Right down there. Ooh. 94, start 000. here now. You can start here. Oh, yeah. 66, 500. Pe peasant Woo. level. Damn, I can't call that peasant, brother. But then you go. Then it's saying? just full iconic level. Regal level. Regal? Regal. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all addiction. You ain't... The, the, the gas mileage is good. 17 City, 24 uh, Highway. Four. Four yeah. on there. That's pretty good. Greenhouse. What about the back seat, brother? How you feel about that, back man? Seat, man it's a lot. Like I said, it got a lot of uh, characteristics to it. Got a lot of aesthetics. Yeah, bolstered up. Like they got the little vent for the for the keister and you know gooch region. Got the gooch breathers um, down there. <laughs> you know, it's very important, brother. Mm -hmm. Very important. You think mm -hmm. you can fit back there, brother? That's it, for brother. A, for an M3. Be sneaking and put this up a little bit on the, you... on the corner. <laughs> I can sit. I can sit by right here. Here. And you six six. Six six. Two, got that much five. leg room. That much head room. Yeah. So he's all the way cool. This is all the leg room I got, which ain't bad. You know what I mean? So you all the way good to go. He's a. Uh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go, brother. Watch how I do this. You gotta step left, right, pivot. Then you fall in. Boom. Leg, foot, shit, though. No. Boom. Fuck my knee up. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, big force entry. <laughs> how you feeling, though? Besides, I got a uh, contusion in my knee. Um, I'm cool. You know I'm saying, hat sturdy. Let me see how I, I can strap in. Yeah, you know, we know you don't do that much. You know, strap up new. They <laughs> strap, yes. Strap up new. <laughs> Raw dog dog coming back slash deal with it. <laughs> Let me know later, huh? Let me know later, baby. Let me know better. Hey, I'm sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> But you cool back there, all in all honesty, bro, because you look like type of snub. In all honesty, I'm super cool. Like literally, this right knee, like I said, it got a contusion in it. We gonna have to go. We right here at Park Medical Clinic, perfect. I need to go get checked out a couple. Of How far can you sit like that? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can sit like that for a couple of hours. Oh, okay, you know big right? gas. Couple of hours. You know, I got to, brother. Trying to sell it. <laughs> I get a percentage of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but it's very compatible with my with my size and you know, so that, that means a lot. Cause I'm, right. I'm top 98 percent tallow to earth. Well, come on, brother. Let's take this thing on a drive, man. And let's talk about this beautiful beast. I don't like this gear shifter, so that's what I don't like. They sound me. Got a little kick, don't it? I like the seat belt too. A little contrast in colors. Yeah. That goes a long way. Long, long way. So you said about 245 horsepower, right? Somewhere around there. Mm. And what was it about? Four, four, 406 six. torque? Yeah, something yeah. like that. You told me? I'm just going off numbers you told me, brother. Somewhere around that nature. Yeah, you got some kick to it, too. Yeah. You got the nice crispy heads up display. Yeah. Looks yeah. really nice. You got the yeah. lat dash layout with the speedometer with 200 on the dash. Mm -hmm. Can't never complain about that. I really like the steering wheel with the M on there and all that good stuff. Yeah, really yeah. nice. You were in the back seat too. Yeah, back I, seat. I was sturdy. It's crispy back there, right? Can't complain. Yeah, nice leather too. Right, yep, around there, red leather too. They're comfortable with the ambiance. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and get a little take off. I ain't go crazy. I, I didn't even push it halfway though, bro, because you know, brand new car I own. Yeah, yeah, Enough to where you get a good understanding. Yeah, so it sound like something. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, you got to mess with the power shifters in this one, probably. All right, brother. That was your Let me door. see. I don't know, brother. I, but it's a little irky jerky. Yeah, this know. ain't no manual. Oh, yeah. I know what I'm saying. That's it. Oh, we're going to leave it. Sure. Like, go, go by the house, like, that's how I used to judge a car. Like, I yeah. look at all that. But once you drive one of these joints, you fully 
really understand the capacity of these cars, man. They're crazy. Yeah. The kickback in this thing is crazy. It's got the analog gauges, which I don't really rock with too much, but I like the, the, the digital part of it. Yeah, the analog gauges. For sure, but you know, like I said, this is for the car enthusiast people. Man, that thing sounds good, bro. Look how it goes around. Sheesh. Want to run that corner? Hold you in that seat, ain't it? Yeah, big old. Yeah, that thing was great. I think I didn't see all I need to see, brother. What more do you need? You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and put that joint in comfort mode now. Yeah. Yeah, efficient. That's what it is. Pardon me. Efficient mode. Now you just sit back and cruise. That's what this can literally go to. You can literally go full top of the move like that, yeah. and then next thing you know, kick it back in efficient. It's going nice, calm, and crazy, and uh, put that joint back in regular automatic mode. See, I played that off. Yeah, big time. <laughs> to me. To me. I put it in fishing mode, but you still already activate the paddle shift or something. You gotta bump that so thing back ready. over there. You gotta touch the little butt plug thing, which I don't like touching too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, I, that's probably the only thing I would say I don't like about this car is that butt plug gear shifter. Uh -huh. I know it's like dual clutch. You know, they be all the science behind it, it and all that crazy stuff. Out. Yeah, it means a lot, but to me, don't mean nothing. I like you know the the crystal gear shifter. You know how that's they have good. that? That one was nice. That's crazy. And the M850. M850. I. That thing was nasty, man. And it was an X7. Yeah, it was an X7 too, right? Yeah, I think it was. Everything was crystal. Yeah, I think it was pure, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. What around these corners? This, you could throw this thing. Now I see why people really get it though. Because you hear about it, but when you actually drive it, you like, okay, yeah, I can see. You can really throw this thing around corners and be fully good. Mm -hmm. No question about it. So. Absolutely, man. And just the exterior design of it too looks really nice. So you can't beat that with a baseball bat, you know? I mean, or a sledgehammer. No, or a sledgehammer. It's 94000 but you're paying for pure car enthusiast capabilities. For pure driving. And, and refinement. And refinement, of course. Definitely yeah. got luxury with it too. Okay. Absolutely. You ready to drive? Of course. All right, you go better yeah. pull over and let Get you take off, brother. You in automatic mode, brother, so you're good to go. Yeah. yeah, that thing was crazy, though, bro. It was. I see. I'm not going to lie. I was reversing tight. No, you got you got no, no, bro. You got to turn off the no. emergency brake. Okay, you got to turn off. put that on, man. <laughs> no, I know why, nigga. You got to play on me. No, brother, you, you, I know you. I just want to make sure it's yeah, that park and the emergency brake is on. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a new car, bro. New car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 19, 19. 19, 19. It was on showroom. Yeah, we'll show room flow, yeah, so it's good to understand it here, man. Oh, God, that's stupid. You went around this corner on me, didn't you? Did you do yeah. it around the corner? It do. I mean, brother, but it's a different between you and I. I can drive, you can't. Man, we're going to figure it out. You look a little nervous. I'm not looking nervous. I look enthusiastic, bro. No, you look a little, you look, you're a little tense. Anytime you're doing something like this, you got to be loose. It's all about being loose and comfortable, brother. You don't look too comfortable, dude. I can feel the crispy to get out the way. I'm in something that's causing a 9 to grand. <laughs> What would you say you like about this? Um, the handling. The handling yeah. is very, very proper. It got some kick to it too, man. It's fast, though. It's swift, you know what I'm saying? Super swift. Absolutely. Um, I like the refinement of just, you know, the, the, the exterior. Cause yeah. All that carbon fiber stuff must mean something. You know what I'm Absolutely. So I think all that counts to me. Like carbon that. fiber on the yeah, fishtail in the back. Of all that, all that carbon yeah. fiber. That means it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Carbon fiber is separate, little here. It separates you, separates you from the pack, especially yeah. your whole roof. Yeah, we got like carbon. Yeah, carbon fiber on the roof, carbon fiber on the back, carbon fiber on the front, yeah, yeah, carbon fiber in the cabin space. You got carbon you fiber literally swimming. everywhere, man. Yeah, that thing is nasty, bro. Yeah, big fat. I like right. that heads up display too. I see it. That heads up display is crispy, ain't it? What about the steering wheel? Proper. Yeah, beefed uh, up type, right? Yeah, you feel the truck. Got the M on it. And it's so it's stiff handling, so it's that big video game feel. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like you're big virtual reality, VR, you know what I'm saying? My headroom is cool. Y'all see my leg room in here? I mean, this is all around pretty pretty well-rounded car. Yeah, big And I think, I think that's why a lot of people get the M series BMWs because, I mean, it's, it could be a precision instrument. It could be a blunt instrument. You know what I'm saying? It can do everything yeah. you want it to do. Everything you, know you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And you keep it classy too. Yeah. 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 Cause you feel very relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Big potholes. Oh my God. Slow down, Brielle. You know what I mean? Gotta respect it. The terrain now. Yeah, and the heritage of the BMW. Yeah, this is a big, 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 big Minnesota now. Yeah, you can tell how, me, how bad the potholes was actually right there because this thing was always yeah, right. all around. You know what I know. Mean? For sure. That ain't no dribble over there, but no. overall, man, legendary. Um, yeah. Driver's car. For sure. If you're a driver's driver, you definitely want one of these. Man. Yeah, you're going to love and respect the hell yeah, out of these. You 
gonna have a great time. Yeah, for sure. You it. gotta be a pure like car enthusiast type right. to really understand. Especially get the full package the magnitude. You're for that roof and all that carbon fiber. That's you pay. You spend a lot of money for on sure. those intangibles, so you better use them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's I feel true. like a lot of people who have BMWs, definitely the M series, are people who who, who either got money or want money, and right. they want to blend in still. They don't mm -hmm. want people to know, like they kind of like the sleeperness of the BMWs, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like you got to be in the car world to know and really respect, you know, uh, BMW. What, yeah, what the BMWs actually really do and the performance, you know, heritage of them all, you right. know what I'm saying? But yeah, all in all, definitely a nice car. Worth 94000 you think though? I mean, personally, of course not. Like I said, it all depends on your taste. Um, if you come for this car, you understand why it's 94000 and you, you come in for the driving experience. So definitely, right. if you're that type of buyer, that yeah. type of person, so it all depends on who you are, you know what I mean? Yeah, you I agree. those, you go definitely. Yeah, because I feel like a lot, a lot of people would look at a Hellcat and say, that's not worth 70,000. No 000. question about the it. people who like these probably wouldn't think that was worth 70,000. There you go, so that's a simple explanation, uh, explanation of it. Uh, Everybody got their own taste, you know what I mean? Absolutely, Because I definitely would never pay that much for no Hellcat before, and I bought me one, so yeah, there you go. a pure business move for you. Yeah, shh. Chico, Chico. No, now I got what I really want. You know what I mean? Yeah, I still got my hell, got really straight up. So, there you go. But what I pay, what I pay that much for, um, like for the Z06. Uh, I, not me, cause I'm not a speed dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like, I like enough fastness, but I don't need to be the fastest person in the world. Cause I ain't racing nobody. I ain't what I'm doing. Right. I can have just enough. You're not really a fast driver, dude. You yeah, got, you got sporadic moments. Yeah, exactly. I like feeling a little bit, but I ain't feeling. If you don't, if I'm gonna get a supercharged spin all that extra mile, you be flying all the time, racing. Right. Long, I'm not just gonna barely use it. That's wasting money to me. Yeah, so, it makes sense to me. Yeah. So it all depends on how, how type of person you are. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't have said it any better. I feel like the people who are gonna pay ninety-four thousand for this are the people who want exactly what this has to no give. No question about it. You know, it's like you can't cross out these with Hellcats and stuff like that. Even though I do it all the time, I just use it as a comparison with for price people, yeah. and performance too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this is actually hooking up and a lot. This is just so much more. It's different. You know. Um, one comparison that they do have the same though is the rear wheel drive. That's probably the only thing that's same or similar between the two. Mm -hmm. but Correct. That's it for this video, man. Tall guy, my dog, Mr. Organic. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. That's it for this video, man. We will see y'all in the next one, man. In the hey, next car, we've been going crazy. Hey, all day, man. <laughs> see y'all in the next one, baby.